Early this January, when our school told my unvaxxed boys to stay home because of a COVID close contact, while vaxxed kids could continue to attend, I decided to pull them out. I've been homeschooling since then. What do you predict for the fall? Home study has been incredible, but my nine-year-old misses his friends. Uh, right. I think there's two questions in terms of what to predict for the fall. There's what actually happens with COVID, and I would expect bad stuff to return. And then there's what the political structure wishes to do with that. It may wish to ignore it, in which case it might be that this disappears into the noise of other winter illnesses, or it could be that it wishes to utilize it, in which case it could be a more tyranny. And it's very hard to predict because we don't know what it's trying to accomplish and whether or not it's decided to switch topics and use something else as an excuse for tyranny. Um, but uh, I, I, I have serious concerns about about what takes place uh, in the fall, and uh, I would not, I would not count on the fact that the worst is behind us. It may be, or it may be that the topic switches, and you know what we are nominally driving each other crazy over is about something different, but the effect is the same. Yeah, with regard to the particular benefits of school versus homeschool, uh, I think especially given what many of the things that we know to be going on in many schools at this point, uh, if you are the kind of person who can write this question, you are almost certainly going to deliver a better education to your to your uh, daughter, son, I don't remember. Son, I uh, um, But... Uh, exactly as you say, it's the it's the social part of it that's so valuable that you can't replicate, right? Uh, the children children should have others. Um, yeah, you know, it's also totally artificial that we put them all in a room with only their same age. That's very artificial. But children should be with other children and learning from them, and not just learning from their mother or their father or uh, you know a few adults. And so that that is. Um, the extraordinary benefit of school that, of course, all that Zoom schooling pretended didn't exist, um, which was ridiculous. Uh, and that is the, the, the very big loss uh, that um, the children being homeschooled alone rather than in, say, a community, you know, a small community of, of parents who are homeschooling. I, I think that's probably the biggest negative. Uh, and, there, and there aren't that many. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, I think partially the problem is that those of us who did not, um, those of us parents who did not buy the party line sufficient that we found ourselves at odds with their schools are sufficiently outnumbered that the obvious thing doesn't happen. I mean, I, I don't know why we're sending our kids to school in the first place. It's like we send them to a place where they are actively being miseducated. What exactly is our rationale for doing this? Okay, it's because they need the social stuff. But on the other hand, what is the social stuff? Well, they are learning to sit masked with other people who don't call out obvious bullshit. And, you know, at what point do you say, well, I don't know which tragedy of history we're living in, but it's obviously one of them. And one's first obligation in such a thing is to protect their children and protect them from what? Well, I don't know what all they need to be protected from, but I do know that that's part of it. And maybe they should be gathering, you know, all of the, all of the people whose parents recognize that school is now an actively negative anti-educational place that instills conformity and fear. All mm -hmm. of those people should probably be gathering their children and making some effort at uh, formally educating them, but largely just giving them normal social inputs and uh, insulation from mental garbage, hmm. right? That would be cool. So I don't understand why there's not a widespread outbreak of this. I don't understand why we're all on autopilot with respect to, um, yes, it's terrible that postmodernism has taken over college, but I'm still sending my kid there. Like, okay, I understand that we don't know what we're supposed to do instead. But again, we are, all of us, including us, are actively sending our children to places that we know are hurting them. And I, I'm amazed that we haven't opted for absolutely anything as an alternative to that. 
right? It's, right. it's autopilot. I mean, we do we do have at least a uh, at least a temporary alternative for for one of our boys coming up. Yep. Yep. And maybe it's maybe that or something like it becomes the replacement for in that case college. Thank you.